Greetings. How are you? I'm listening. Great to meet you. Ah, I've, I've been, been expecting, expecting you. For the good. You come oh, get, get the voodoo. Uh, hey, there. And you are. Light be with hey, you. Break to you me. come to consult the spirits? Welcome to Orgrimmar. Have you come to serve the Horde? Sail here, me buy, and trade. What? Hello and welcome to Control Alt Wow, the podcast for those of us who love World of Warcraft and love making many alts. Today is Sunday, March 28th, 2021, and this is episode 701 entitled, The Show Must Go On and On. I'm a brilliant your host, and with me are my two awesome co-hosts. Hello, Grand Agus. How are you today? Good night. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, hi, hi, guys. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> How's everything over um, there? How's the weather? Are you warm now, or? Uh, we are. We just uh, switched to daylight savings last night. Okay. So. One of us. One of oh, us. So it's like not I, one a.m. I don't have to, to say the tweet how many hours before the show anymore. No, <laughs> it's 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 not one a.m. It's two a.m. when we start. So yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Uh, Hallelujah. Uh, so right. yeah, I'm no, I'm okay. It's 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 all good. We're back in the fifties here, which has been so nice. Yeah, we Hi. have, I think we have, like, let me just check what my, what, what we have, uh, have 60. Oh, nice. No, yeah. no, no, what's, not 60. We what's, have, what's, four, we have nine degrees Celsius. How much is that? I don't know. Uh, where are you? What, name, name a big city near you. Of, what's a big city near you? Hamburg. Hamburg, okay. Nine degrees would probably be around 35 or 36. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, 30, 32 is... No, no. Um, 30, no you oh, that's are normal. 50 degrees, so I'm 55, and yeah, you're see, 50. There you go. There you go. I'm, I'm 13, so I'm a little bit warmer than you are. And what's a big yeah. city near you, uh, Construct? Because I like to keep track of your weather. Vancouver. Vancouver, Vancouver. All right, so you're six, which is, you're coldest than all of us. You're 43. It's still warm, though. I'm 55. That's because we have a windstorm right now, so they're uh, giving the the f- temperature with the wind chill factor, which I think is just bollocks. No, no, this doesn't, doesn't have the wind chill factor. This is just what it is now. So you, you're, you're still not freezing. We're all above freezing, which is nice. And Constrax, yeah. how, how are you? How are you? I'm feeling fantastic. I've had a productive week in WoW. Um, Mrs. Constructs was sick on Friday, so Friday was a WoW day with uh, the usual interruptions. Mm. But it was okay because um, at the end of the day, she felt much, much better. So I was like, <gasps> yeah. Pull another Thank one God out of the fire. That. That's good. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. I get worried when Mrs. Constructs isn't doing well. I bet, yeah. Right. Yeah. She got her iPhone uh, 12 today. Pro oh, Max. nice. <laughs> wow. Yeah, and she goes, can I play with it? I go, are you crazy? You the first <laughs> charge is the oh. most important charge out of all the life of the phone. If you don't charge it for 18 hours on that first lithium-ion charge, really? you might as well throw it away. It's not going to work in a year. not going to oh. be no good. Oh, I guess I should I try to explain that. And people don't get it. If they want to play with it. Why right didn't you away. tell me that? Because I didn't do mine that way, so I guess mine is going to be... Mm. It, it's the, the thing of it is with lithium ion is it's good for 500 charges. So that's like ingrained into the life of the, of the phone. And that first charge sets the overall life of the battery, like the quality of uh, the charging cycles. And after that, you're supposed to unplug it as soon as it finishes charging. 
But me, I always get the apps that tell me how to top it up a little bit. Gotcha. Because I, I usually most, I, I usually phones. keep my keep my phones between forty and eighty percent. That's pretty good. Charged, so that it never tops off because that uh, topping off is what 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 destroys the the battery. I've been told oh, if yeah. you keep it keep it at that, and if you run it too low, that's not good either. So wow, this yeah, is a the lot phone of I have right now, I'm running it down to one percent every week. Yeah, which you should never do. You should never. Yeah, you should never be playing on the phone when it's at one percent. It's, it's like uh, oh, the MG, stats. do you know how many people come to my job and they say my batteries are dead and I'm like, <laughs> yeah. and and then yeah. they want well, what, what? Then they say to me, "What can I do?" And there was a time when I would like let them borrow my charger or, but yeah, yeah. one time I let someone use the, my adapter, and they didn't return it, so I don't do that anymore. Oh, uh, <sighs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. know yeah, it's. Yeah, and you'd be amazed know, at how many people travel. How do you travel without a charge, an adapter? I mean, a cable. Mm. I was in the hospital once. I I sent um, uh, a thing to Amazon, and I had my charger delivered to the hospital in the <laughs> emergency. And they're like, "How did you know you were going to be here?" I just knew. <laughs> <laughs> Because they wouldn't let me travel home with my vehicle. So I was like, hey, I'm not doing without a charger. Right. <laughs> well, I carry, I actually carry multiple chargers with me just in case. Yeah. All right. This is not control all cell phone. iPhone. <laughs> iPhone. Oh, iPhone. Phone. I have my, this one. Can you see it? Yeah. Oh. Power, power bank. Power bank, power yes. Bank. Yeah. Yeah. I have, Essential. A I must have like three. Yep. 30,000. 30, oh, shoot. Yep. Okay. Milliamps. So, and I have a one that's smaller, that's 20,000. So, I always have like 50,000. I saw an advertisement with me. for one that also charges your laptop. So, I'm thinking about getting that. That would be really cool. Oh, yeah. This one, this one is so good. It, it's not produced anymore oh yeah yeah that's that, that's how good they are they were like so so frequently out of out of stock that apparently they yeah they said we can't produce this anymore it's too good it's a too good of a product <laughs> that's what happens it, it uh, outlives its uh, planned obsolescence yeah. and and they won't make they won't they won't make anymore because they know that they're going to lose money in the long run. Yeah, you have that, that, uh, uh, I don't know what the English term is. Of, well, uh, planned uh, obsolescence. They want yeah, the product German, to self-destruct one day after the warranty expires. Yeah, in German it's called Sollbruchstelle, which means it has to break point. Yeah. 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 Literally translated. Mm. And if you if you drive a car and you have a transmission, you want the transmission to explode one day after the warranty. So you, oh, can, get, whenever, you can charge like, like five thousand yeah. bucks to yeah, the guy. Yeah, yeah, basically. So and Wait. and this I've had it for I've bought it this the, the big one. I bought the second year I went to BlizzCon. Mm. Yeah. And the the first one I bought the first year. And I've I haven't charged this since uh, last November, and it's at ninety five percent. So retains the charge, yeah, yeah. And I've charged with it three times. Yeah. Mm. So that's that's how how good is this is. It's about yeah. half a year. The guy at research and development got fired as soon as he put that product out. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. All right. So, um, what's going on this week? Not a lot this week. Next week is a big week, but this week, hmm, hmm, hmm. Yeah, we have, uh, we have quite a bit oh, we going on, and, and uh, 
well, not in game, but around the game, yeah. stuff has been going on in game, in uh, in retail. Obviously, mm -hmm. we have uh, ongoing uh, and ending is the Shadowlands dungeon event. Mm. Yeah. Um, I and tried. I tried it. And I was disappointed with the drop rate. You only get the one item per dungeon, so I find so far. Oh. I haven't had yep. two drops you, in any dungeon. Well, oh, that's that's not what the dungeon event is. The dungeon event is only solely the the fact that they add a extra item drop to the final boss. Oh, right. That's all I haven't, I haven't had that. I've had yeah, stuff it's not drops in the dungeon. Yeah, not, it's not guaranteed. not guaranteed at the end. Yeah, it is guaranteed at the end. It's not just not guaranteed to you. Right, it's the guaranteed to The final boss drops Oh, only for one person. Okay. One, I completely misunderstood that part. The final boss drops, say, one guaranteed piece of loot, like every other boss right and during the dun shadowlands dungeon event the final boss drops two pieces so it's not and since it's all random it's all no, rng sense. you're not guaranteed that a piece every time it's just that the boss drops two it's like that planned obsolescence thing right um, you don't want everybody eh. getting loot eventually <laughs> RNG yeah. and then on Tuesday we're at that time again when all the pet battlers come crawling out of their, <laughs> their pet holes, holes. Yeah. Cave. to caves to <laughs> to pet battle because it's pet battle bonus event pet battle to death and uh, who did that and then we have the PvP brawl, classic, Ashran, um, where you have, yeah, Ashran by the play, uh, run by the uh, Wallace of Dread, or original rules, not okay. the modified rules that we know if you go into the regular Ashran. Uh, what was it called? Mega, super, special, Magnetist. monster, battleground. I don't know what term they use at the moment. They have that those 40 men uh, battlegrounds that they have a special terminology for. It's an epic, epic battleground. There you go. Epic battleground, which, which are the... Ashran and uh, um, the one in in uh, in Ra uh, in Wrath, the uh, winter. Uh, what's it called? Um, winter grasp. Winter grasp. That's one. And then there's the island. I think right. Yeah, the island, the Isle of Conquest. Yeah, I think those three are. On the well, epic battlegrounds. There's also the um, that one that the alliance likes because the whole oh, oh yeah AV right comes in just a little bit too late over the bridge usually the unless AV. they can back us to the last yep. graveyard and then it's a slag fest. Yep, right AV right. So yeah, those those four then uh, yeah, but uh, again, Ashran is uh, is the classic, and if you want to. Do nope. your if you want to do your gladiator yeah. quests in your dun uh, in your garrison, this yeah. is a good chance to do it because again, the rules apply where you where you can optimize your gladiator kills. So if you still need uh, any of your gladiator quests for like those. I needed torrents, but I've only got one torrent I've killed mm. so far. Yeah. We all but need a again, if you, yeah. yeah, so so that's that's um, what's going on this week in game. And then we have the other 
issues, quote unquote, that uh, we have to talk about outside of game. Okay. Uh, first, uh, the Burning Crusade classic uh, beta has started. Oh, yep. yeah. So, if you can opt in when if you go to the website and uh, click on the opt-in button uh, to be part of the beta. Obviously, it's not a guarantee. It's just a chance to eventually, maybe, uh, be part of it. If they decide that you are worthy which I don't know how they decide. It's probably a random um, number generator, more like. Uh, I don't, don't know. <laughs> I mean, there are quite a few streamers that oh, already. That get, oh, oh, you're kidding. Oh, wow. That get prefer, pre- preferential treatment. That was a hard. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I mean, for, for good reasons, since, since it's, it's all commercial. It's exposure. Uh, showcasing. But there's no NDA it's, though, right? It's it's No, 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 no. Yeah, the, what? The game's been out for how many years now? There's nothing new in it. <laughs> but it's classic. And it's different. Yeah, but still. No, it's <laughs> not. That's it. The only thing that's different is the character that you run in with. The right. world is the same. Mm. So, and as I said a couple of weeks ago, I wish they hadn't changed, uh, I I wish they had changed at least uh, the one zone, Shadow Moon Valley, Mm. um, in the same way that they did with the release, where um, they would stagger and then eventually change the quest flow. Because the quests in um, Silver, uh, in Shadow Moon Valley were different before and after um, the Black Temple was released, was opened. Because before the Black Temple was opened, you did all the quests in the open world that led to the, to, to the temple. Right, right. Uh, and then afterwards, obviously, uh, they, they didn't have phasing back then. So they changed the world so that it reflected the open temple and the events that happened when we went through it, as we went through it. So, um, yeah, I wish they had done the same thing, but again, maybe might not might not be as easily done as I say it should be done, or I wished it would be done. But yeah, so yeah, Burning Crusade Classic Beta servers are up. I've already seen a few. Uh, bug fixes, blue posts, so they are at work with with going through the reports that people put in, which is a good thing. Um, then Blizzard has removed something from the shop. Uh, they've removed game time options. They've removed the 30 day the 90 day and the 180 day what are you, what are you talking about? game time Willis? options you can go I tried to go buy 30 days at the uh, store you can't it's just 60 yep. days available yeah you go you go into the shop the blizzard shop and you want to buy uh game time right you I don't want to have part, the sub right? yeah 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 and exactly and Previously, you had the option of 30, 60, 90, and 180 days for the respective price. Right. Now, the only option left is 60 days. Interesting. 
So only if you don't want to sub the only game time, say you want to you want to gift game time to someone. Right. Yeah. Previously, you, you were able to go down to 30 days or as high as 180 days. Now you can only gift a 60-day amount. Oh. Because that's the only amount they'll sell for 30 bucks and 26 euros, I think. I don't know how much uh, it's for, for other uh, currencies. And uh, in the same um, uh, together with that, they changed the convergence, the the, the amount, the uh, price for for uh, I don't know what what for was it game time was it subs I can't remember for two of the. European currency regions. I think one was Russian, if I remember correctly. The other one I can't remember. Obviously, they didn't make it cheaper. They never do. Mm. Much like they did with Australia before, uh, England before, and Europe. Those three had been, have been, um, uh, What's a what's a nice word to 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 use it? Adjusted <laughs> <laughs> um, to to uh, reflect the monetary exchange rate. So yeah, uh, yeah, and now we have the next set of two again, Russian, and again, I don't know, I can't remember the second. <gasps> currency where they where they've done that you can um, only, you can add a subscription wait I just want to get back to the other thing because it's blowing yeah, my mind if that's you, what if I you're wanted buying to get it for to. yourself you can also do you can do 30 days or whatever for yourself no you not cannot yet. you can no longer only thing the only the only way you can deviate from the 60 days is if you do a proper subscription. That's what I meant. You can do a subscription. Right, right. Yes. But you can't for 30 Yes, days. correct. Um, yes, correct. And there, there's nothing, nothing changes with regards to the subscription. It's still one, three, or six months, respectively. That doesn't change at all. Oh, that's Only funny. the game time purchase is affected, the game time that you can buy in the shop. Because technically... As far as I know, mm. you cannot subscribe in the shop. You need to go to your account, account. page right. and click on the subscribe button there. So it's technically not in the shop that you subscribe. Because, you know, this bugs me and it affects me a lot because what I was doing as a multi-boxer you know, sometimes I, I'm triple boxing or whatever. And so I would do 30, I would do 30 days and then let mm -hmm. it run out because that way if, like, say it gets to the end of, and, and I'm not playing for a few days and then I go back and mm -hmm. put another 30 days on it, then I am saving money. <laughs> yeah. But with, so this way I have to, or I can only put 60 days and, but you No, know, you can still go, you can still go subscribe and but immediately I don't want to subscribe cancel. Because, and then immediately cancel. Okay. All right. Okay. So there, there is an option. Subscribe and then immediately cancel. Okay. Yep. That's probably easier because I'm always sitting up there going, it's fourteen ninety nine. dollars Yep. Plus. Yeah. That's what I, what, what I, what I do with, with, with other things. Like, I don't like. For instance, I usually when I when I work around uh, um, with all the research for for some of the artists that I use for for Cops on Radio, mm -hmm. I I uh, like to use IMDb Pro. Right. And that's, that's the subscription-based subscription thing too. Mm. And, uh, but 
I've been lucky enough to have them come to me again and again to offer free a free month of, of, of like trial subscription. And I'll like push it and push it. And if need be at the very last day of the availability of that, that free month, I'll sub. And then as soon as I get the notice that the sub has been uh, processed, I'll go into the account and immediately cancel it again. All right, so there is a solution. So, so, so that would be an easy solution. It's just a two-minute thing. Wait for the email to come into your inbox telling you, oh, yeah, you subscribed. Thank you very much. And then go back to the account and uh, cancel the subscription again. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, that it's I don't know what made them do it there's probably a, a monetary evaluation uh, they they made that would that whether they had an algorithm uh, analyzing pros and cons of that so yeah uh, it's their shop, their game. They can do whatever they want. It's just, yeah, it's not. It's an interesting choice. Yeah, interesting choice. Yeah, exactly. Um, and then the last point before we get into our weeks is the fact that the five hundred thousand dollar threshold for the donation has been met. Uh, has good, been met. Good now. job, everybody. So, so we can get, uh, we can go into again. Here we go again with the Blizzard shop. Mm -hmm. uh, the bananas pet that was previously, and here is where it gets interesting again. I can't remember if I mentioned this last week. There are two pets available. One after the five hundred thousand dollar threshold has been met, and which is now the case, and then at the one million dollar threshold, which obviously has not been met yet, uh, we get the sloth. And uh, but the banana, the sloth is the unique one of the two. Right. The ex the 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 yeah, the bananas pet is a pet that's been in the game for quite a few years already. It's just a re-release from a different source, mm. which I find not too nice because it devalues the um, available or the, the availability, the, the, the source of the original source, which is... No, a, the, a, the original source, if you look online, you can find bananas for uh, like five ninety nine, which is not too much money. It's less than the value of the token. I know, I know. It's, it, it's from, the, uh, from the trading card game. Yeah. From the physical trading card game, from the scratch card. Right. Yeah. I, right. Can't, I can't remember what... What what series it was from? I think it's a dark portal. I can't remember. Oh man, I remember. I, really I used to remember. buy those all the time, trying to get. To, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So that's where bananas originates from. In fact, I have a and whole box to, full of them. <laughs> yeah, and quite quite honestly, as nice as it is that they made a donation uh, based thing again. Mm -hmm. Giving us a a pet that's not unique is really lame, mm. in my opinion. Mm. They should have they should have said outright a million bucks, or they should have done it the other way around. I get it that the incentive for going for the unique one um, is. Uh, 
wouldn't have been that. They they could have said, okay, we're going to give you give you both pets at the same mm -hmm. threshold. So I don't know. It, it, it's something that that doesn't doesn't sit well with me. It's it's something that if they continue to do stuff like that, mm, uh, it doesn't. I don't know. It's not not one of the favorite things they've done for me. Uh, but again, we have uh, about a month. I think the April twenty fourth. I th I think is is the deadline for for um, for the. For the entire donation thing, um, let me just quickly pull up the website. Wow, charity pet program. We are at six hundred twenty-four thousand one hundred and forty-one dollars at the moment. Mm. We have until April twenty-six. It grows quite as quickly when you think about it because it's only been. Just over two weeks, or not quite two weeks, that they've started it, and right. it's already at six hundred thousand. Yeah, yeah, mm, yeah. We'll we'll see, we'll see. Again, I wonder if if we're going to see. I can't remember if I said this last week. I wonder if we're not if we haven't met the one million goal how long it's going to be until they release the sloth as a regular store mount wouldn't surprise me if they do uh, it would be surprised if they don't it wouldn't surprise it would be surprise would surprise me if they don't that's the way I wanted to phrase it. yeah gotcha because uh, it's yeah it's a money maker there's uh, so many other microtransactions. Um, yeah, so again, 624,141 at the moment. So, yeah, just, just shy of just a little under 400,000 left in three days less than a month. That's, it sh should be a, a the goal should be obtainable. The question is how many pet enthusiasts are willing to put in their money to get the exclusive pet uh -huh. rather than the reissued one. Right. Because I had bananas before. It's It's my second pet, so... And it's basically, it, its value is basically zero. If I want to sell it, the, the duplicate one on the auction house now. Oh. Because everyone has it. Oh, yeah, right. So, and, and that's what I wanted to get at earlier. I see. Um, you, it's you buy it. You bought it and you... Somebody the unsubs and they don't log in. They're not going to get that pet. Right. If they come back to the game later on, it's possible. Uh, I think... Right? Uh, but you still yeah, can't I think sell. it's like you... August 1st, I think, yeah. something is, 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 is when it's... when it's... Uh, when the uh, availability in-game mm -hmm. runs yeah. out. So... But but yeah, still the people that 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 play should should be logging in between then uh, between now and then. It's like what five months, four yeah. months. That should be plenty of time to get a whole bunch of copies of of the pet out there in the world. Mm. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, I used to buy and sell those. Yeah, again, how much did you pay for them? How much did you sell them for? Back in the day, I paid, I think, 23K. 
She wow. let you go. Yeah. So now so it's that, basically that was, a, that was a good buy back then. Yeah, because it was exactly. hard to get. Yep. Yeah. Now it's nothing. A couple of hundred if you're lucky. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's that's I mean it's a good way to take money out of the economy. Yeah. If that's their intention, well done. But uh I doubt that they would use a donation push uh, for a quote unquote scheme like that. That wouldn't would wouldn't be wouldn't sit well with me and quite a few other people. I would I would say so. I don't, I don't want to accuse them of anything that nefarious. So. But yeah, there are, it, it, yeah. Okay, let's just leave it at that. Okay. Let's get into our weeks. Well, I, I, there is one more occasion. <gasps> okay, sorry. That's happening next week. <laughs> On Wednesday, I turned 59, so I'm looking forward to that. It's, it's my birthday. All right. I was going to make that part of my week, but. And that, that's it. That's all that's happening next week. You're almost max level. I'm almost yeah. max level, yeah. <laughs> Just yeah, like yeah. my characters in the game. I'm not quite there, but... IRL. I'm, I'm almost there. I've had a fantastic weekend. Wow. It's um, God. very comforting. <laughs> Those battlegrounds where you're not necessarily putting out more damage, but you feel like you're contributing more by pushing all the buttons all at once. <laughs> Bad boy, bad boy. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Constrax, how's your week in WoW been? Uh, well, the first half of the week I was very tired. I was just doing my callings on my rogue, and uh, it was just sucking the life out of me. I just couldn't couldn't do any more pet battles, and I like it. My uh. My concentration was just no good. Um, I just mm. uh, kind of ran out of steam. And then um, mm. Thursday happened. I started feeling a little bit better about myself. And uh, I started doing LFR to collect more anima. Oh, nice. And then uh, a thing happened where I collected all I knew I was going to be able to collect all week by doing all the LFRs. And I knew I wasn't going to reach my goal of 10,000 anima to unlock the transportation, the mirror system in mm. um, in Revendra. So I know I'm not able to save much more gold on transportation. So because we don't have flying yet, the patch is not out, and I'm kind of stuck. I only have one max level. And I only have one mission table. I kind of wanted a second mission table. So it started getting itchy for action that wasn't happening on my main. And since I'm locked in with uh, the fates uh, on my other characters, the only way to level is to do world quests or to um, to pick up a storyline somewhere to start. And since I don't have too much gear on most of my other characters, I went and got some gear. So I got, I did some multiboxing on my horde characters. And um, so I got three rings, three shoulders, three waist belts, and three trinkets on my druid, goblin priest, and my uh, Vulpira warlock. So I at least got a little bit. If I want to go in a dungeon, I'm not going to be the bottom of DPS. So I feel a little bit better about my characters. And that way, maybe I can level a little bit faster. And um, on Saturday, I was really, really itching for a challenge. I was like, I don't know what to do to to fill this void that I have. That I can't go any faster on my anima collection on my rogue. So I went to tank a dungeon. Okay, I don't even know what the straps are. I don't even know what dungeon I'm going to get. I'm just going to hit the queue and see what happens. And then the satchel came up for cooperating 
with uh, the group. So I'm like, okay, cool. I get a satchel out of that. And there was 946 gold in the satchel and Ooh. four augment runes. So that means augment runes are worth about 3K on the auction house. So that's like almost 4,000 gold for doing one dungeon. Mm. <laughs> that's crazy. And then, so I guess Blizzard is finding uh, uh, issues running running enough content with the, the tanks that are out there because... Um, What's happening is the, um, the the group finder takes a really long time if you queue as a DPS. And then if you annoy the tank or anything, you just drop the group and requeue with somebody else. So I had a group where, I don't know what I did, but I was in Halls of Atonement and uh, the tank, like second boss, the tank drops group. <laughs> Somebody pulled sideways. I don't know. Mm. So anyway, I stayed in there. I tanked out until the next boss on my rogue. But, uh, you know, the next tank showed up and we did the Halls of Atonement for reputation. I didn't need anything. So at the end of uh, one of the LFRs, one of the people asked me if I needed the, the weapon token. And I said no. So I just gave my token away because you can trade an LFR. So they got a little bit of gear for their character, and you know, it, it's it's split between three classes. So it's uh, rogues, death knights, and mages, and you have paladins, shamans, and priests. And then I forget what the other groups are, but basically, when something drops one of those three rules, it, you can share it with somebody else. But um, back to my dungeon with the um, the death knight, the gnome death knight. I uh, I just basically tanked as best as I was able, and we wiped twice on the first boss. Mm. They didn't know the strat. Um, the hunter kept pulling bigger and bigger, so it's like I only got so much out feeling. And I noticed that the third boss, I didn't have any talents picked out. <laughs> Classic mistake. <laughs> so anyway, I picked out some talents, and it went much better. And uh, my, uh, my rogue discovered there's a uh, Oil you can make early on in the um, the uh, alchemy that allows your weapons to do an extra hundred points of damage. Shadow oil, so that's kind of useful because it ups my DPS. And I topped the meter on one of my dungeons, so I was real happy. So I uh, I I've been pushing hard to try to. Um, just be a little bit more useful in LFR, interrupt the casters, and, you know, like, uh, not not pull sideways, you know, when uh, we had one dungeon where the druid tank just kept pulling the whole room and we kept wiping, so they kicked them. But it was rough. Uh, that cost me, I don't know, 400 gold in repairs, which is not too bad. I, I, like it. I don't care about my rogue because I have, like, over a million so it's not likely I'm going to run out of gold anytime soon. Um, what you might call it? I have, um, I have tried to level cooking a little bit. I don't find it very easy because some of the materials are uh, rare, like the tenebrous, um, tenebrous shanks. I think this is this is kind of me just like. 55 gold each, so I spent, uh, I don't know, 1,400 gold to level that. And it's not leveled to max, it's just leveled a couple of points to 60, so I'm probably going to use Dark Moon Fair to level the rest of the way, and that's coming that's coming soon. Dark Moon Fair, I think, one week or two weeks. And uh, I also did um, leveling and enchanting. Enchanting, I had to buy some of the shards because I, they don't drop at everything. They drop at, um, most likely blues and purples. So when I de 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 greens, you don't get you don't get a lot of materials. You get soul dust, but not uh, the uh, eternal shards. So I did um, I did spend about eighteen thousand gold to buy some shards so I can level to uh, the ring enchants that are. Crit mastery and versatility. 
uh, because I I do spend quite a bit of gold on ring and chance. Um, they 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 run expensive on the auction house, so I might as well make my own. Level up my priest. It's way easier to craft. Yes. Yes, you make the scrolls and you just mail them to your alts. No, 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 no. Craft as a tailor, for example. Yeah. Craft uh, gear, disenchant it, and then use the... And use the mat. Yep. Yeah, yeah, but what they've done, this expansion around is the, the... to skill up the points for uh, crafting, there's mm-hmm. a lot of stuff that are that is plus two or plus three every time you craft one. Mm. So yeah, you I've actually done, don't end I've up crafting. You, you actually don't end up crafting a lot of items. I've done it twice. Yeah, I've, I've done it twice uh, as a as a tailor. One on the yeah. horse side, one on the lion side. Yeah, yeah, and both both tunes have uh, have reached. Uh, as far as uh, needing crystals now, yeah. Which, uh, yeah, I'm not willing to buy one crystal for what? Why was 180, it? 180 gold. A crystal? The uh, ethereal um, or the eternal shards? No, no, the crystal. The oh, purple I don't know. stuff. That's like fifteen hundred when I when I last played. Oh, I don't know. For one, and you need two for the... I haven't gotten to those. So, yeah, exactly. Exactly. So that's where I'm, where I'm stuck. So, yeah. But, but with, the, with the shards, that's not a problem. It shouldn't be a problem. And especially if you get past the five or ten skill points mm. of the enchanting where you absolutely need the crystals. Yeah. Mm. If you get past them with the five and then another five from the Dark Moon Fair, you wait yeah, the, yeah. the month that you need and then you continue with, with uh, then again relative shards that yeah. you then still get from the disenchanting. That works yeah. perfectly. Oh, Dabba score. Who's Dabba score? Dabba. The big score. Yeah. The big score. Who's I wrote. That? That's your rogue. Oh, he just ran right rogue. past me. Are you are you digging as well? I'm digging as well. He, he, he didn't even say I hi. See. It's a little tiny yeah, body. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm enjoying myself here. It's easy leveling. Yes, it is. I'm telling you, it is. Go ahead. Sorry. And, uh, what else have <laughs> I been doing? I, I have gone to Dead Mind's Battle Pet Dungeon. Mm. because I was looking for a challenge. So I went to uh, Zufu, the Wild Pet Guide. I put the link in the show notes. And basically what happened is I was looking for a strat so I wouldn't have to um, uh, to kind of come up with my own pet ideas. Right. And yep. Zufu said that basically as long as you have a large roster of High level pets, you should be able to manage that dungeon um, by kind of wasting pets on um, the battles that you can solo. So, as long as you use pets that you're not going to reuse as your second and third pet, uh, you should be able to manage that just fine. <laughs> so, what you do is you log into Zufu, you create, um, well, there you are. Hi. Uh, what you call call it? You, you log into Zufu and you make a profile and then you download your pet list into the, um, the Zufu website. What happens at that point is you, um, you get the Dead Mines Dungeon list brought up wait, with... Wait, a, I'm, a, I'm yeah. sorry. You both had the same dig site? No. Okay, I thought both of you were digging. All right, never mind. Go ahead. No, my uh, my the big score is getting there on the wings of Cortana. Okay, gotcha. All right, go ahead. And then Cortana just picks him up at the end. Because what happens is when you're low level and you're digging, you only have a couple sites that pop up at a time because the zones that are too high level for you won't generate a dig site. 
but those dig sites are usually out of the way and not necessarily close to a flight path. Right, exactly. So it becomes it becomes annoying to fly back and forth on the flight paths because you don't have the flight master's whistle. So what you do is you uh, you have a flyer with a passenger mount, and you drop off your digger wherever you got to go, and then they dig pets for you. So you can put those on the kitchen house. Awesome. All right, sorry, no, no, that's what I your do. dungeon story. No worries. <laughs> yeah, so Cortana is my uh, demon hunter. She's level 47. She's going to be level 48 soon. And that big score is my rogue, which is level 23. And they're both doing archaeology because right now they get double XP because they're, they're not um, out of rested XP, so they get good XP for the digs. And then when they ding to uh, out of ding themselves out of rested XP, I just park them back in Obermore next to the auction house. Awesome. So if I need to buy something on the auction house, I don't have to switch. I don't have to fly any character there. I can just mail gold to my alt at the auction house. I cheat. I cheat all the time. <laughs> anyway. And, no, um, you find a clever way of doing it. It's not cheating. Uh, it's yes. just alternate. Clever uh, use of game mechanics. Ga- yes. 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 Clever use of no. game mechanics. Thank you. That's exactly what I was. So, Zufu came up with a list of um, pets, and it created... It created the scripts and everything for those pets that I had. It showed me two pets that were required in my group. I didn't have enough pets leveled to have a good uh, fleshed out group. So one of them was a rabbit. It had to be a hare with a certain breed type. So that one was level 12. And then my uh, other pets it didn't happen to be blue, so it was green. It was level 23 green. So I was like, okay, well, I can just easily use pet battle stones to make them the correct breed. So I went in the first time to Dead Mines. The first time you can mm, wait, heal. Wait, you can make them different breeds? No. No, you can make them blue. Different rarity. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah, okay. that's what he meant to say. So I went into Dead Mines. The first time, and the first time you can heal, it doesn't matter. So if you miss mess up a fight, you can start it over. Like the game mechanics, I didn't wasn't sure about, so I wanted to try figure it out on my own a little bit. With as long as I had the right breed and stuff, occasionally one of my pets got put to sleep, I would quit the fight, restart, heal, and then um, just try to try to figure out the gist of what the special of the pets is. Because Zufu gives you a likelihood that you're going to succeed the fight or not. So the, the reason that being is that some of your pets are optimal and will win in any situation. It's guaranteed to win. Mm. But other pets are just like so-so is the wrong breed or whatever or doesn't have enough HP or whatever. So occasionally RNG is going to make you lose that fight. You'll have to restart the whole dungeon if you lose that fight in Heroic. So at that point, Zufu puts a a yellow dot on your strategy, which means it's not green. It's not guaranteed. You might lose. So uh, like I remember one of my fights, my mechanical pet was going to die because he got stunned. So I had to switch to my backup pet, which was going to die anyway because it was it had an AOE effect. So I the backup pet died to eat, so that the the effect to soak up the damage from this one really hard pet, so that the mechanical could finish off the fight without the pet using uh, devour, which heals the pet, which is horrendously bad in my other pets because of the wrong breed to, to uh, do the proper amount of damage to it. So, because if you have bad damage against a pet, then you only do half damage. So, I did I did my thing. I got through it on normal. And uh, on normal, when you get the achievement, you get 
the mining monkey. Oh. So as a free pet for doing uh, dead mines. <laughs> and uh, basically when you pass, when you finish Whaling Cavern, Riani and Dalaran offers you a teleport direct to um, direct to dead mines, which is the the guy is uh, outside the, uh, the little city there and he's waiting for you and he sells you when you succeed the dungeon, he sells you old bottle caps for heroics. Mm-hmm. So with an old bottle, yes, yeah, Moonbro. So with an old bottle cap, I bought uh, the what's it called? I bought the Full Reaper 0.9, which it is exactly like the Full Reaper. It moves like the Full Reaper that dreaded the thing in Dead Mines uh, when you mm-hmm. go down the foundry in the middle, which kills everything when it does a uh, overdrive. Anyway, it looks exactly like that, and it's just horrible, horrible looking. <laughs> but I walk around that with my robe now. It's uh, it's quite fun. And um, there's two more pets you can buy, but you need two bottle caps and three bottle caps. So you have to run heroic six times, seven altogether if you count the normal run. And you can only do one run per week, except one heroic run per week. So, so the first week you can run it twice. But after that, you have to wait multiple weeks. So it's like kind of the kind of like the celestial tournament. You have to wait out the um, all the weeks to to acquire all the pets from that dungeon. And um, basically, I I'm not happy because I can't do it all in one day. <laughs> Blizzard said I have to be patient. Yep. So it's kind of frustrating me a little bit, but you know that now I'm kind of leveling my DK and I'm gonna try and have a another max level character because like I can't wait for all these um, these Facebook mechanics. You know, they're trying to slow me down to extend the life of the game. But you, you can. Know, I, I, do I grinded the, my reps. Yeah, you can do the next dungeon, though. But I don't want to. I want to get all the pets from that one first. Oh, okay. So I, I, can, I kind of want to do them in order so I don't end up forgetting what it, where, where I'm at. Because I moused over my um, I moused over my, my pet collection, and it says I'm short 334 pets. That's a lot of pets. Mm-hmm. That's a lot of pets to have everything. So I went to the auction house and I uh, I had a look there at the bottom of my list of pets. There's um the adventurous uh, adventurous um, thing. I, I I put a bet a bid on on it for thirty thousand gold. It's from Island Expeditions. I don't think I'm ever going back to Island Expeditions. But like, there was a lot of pets in there. I got Captain Nibs. I got, uh, like, a couple different pets. But, I like, I just didn't enjoy that part of the content. So, yeah, it was 3 DPS, and sometimes you had a healer, sometimes you had a tank, and sometimes you did a little bit of PvP. But it, was, it wasn't like scenarios. Scenarios was like, Good old fun with uh, basically a race against the clock and island expeditions. You always had the possibility of losing in the end because you didn't gather as right as fast as the other team. So I was like, that's, that's not, that wasn't the, the kind of content I was looking for. So I, uh, I put in a bid on it uh, for 33,000 gold, and hopefully I get the bid. But they sell for 36,000 gold. So the adventurous, uh, whatever it's called, it's at the end of my pet guide list. And I have a million gold, so I'll probably end up getting, you know, a couple hundred pets at some point. But uh, mostly I'm going to end up buying them off the auction house because not every pet can be achieved with an achievement. Sometimes you just need... RNG on your side and I uh-huh. I don't have the patience to go to all these raids and dungeons and like 
do uh, do it like a, a hundred times or a thousand times to get the pet to drop. I remember when I got the Black Fuse Bombling from uh, CJ Ogremar. I was so happy because that was 17,000 gold I didn't have to spend. And, and, and it was like a really, really dro- low drop rate. I remember that. Because every once in a while you see somebody get one and you'd be like, huh? can I get that? And I'm like, no. <laughs> and I got the uh, the Shaw thing too from CJ Ogremar. I got both of them. I got the um, the uh, the one from the uh, the cleansing chamber there, so I was real happy about that. Ooh, very um, nice. Congrats! But I don't, yeah, I don't think you can get everything to draw. Like it's just, it's just like trying to get every achievement. It's just, it's just not going to happen. So it also said to me that I only have five hundred pets at max level. I'm like, oh, that's not right. Let me see how we can get. A couple of uh, level 23 pets go up two levels with the stones. So I upgraded 35 pets to blue because I had uh, flawless battle stones from doing uh, pet battles in um, in uh, uh, Shadowlands. So I got like 40 pet battle stones. So I used them all. And then I had 200 upgrade stones that upgrades one level at a time. So I upgraded 78 pets to level 25. So that gives Sheesh. me a total of 578 pets at max level. Wow. And what that does is when I go back to Zufu for my next dungeon, if they have the same mechanic, which it looks at all the pets at max level that I have mm-hmm. and tries to figure out a strategy using that, then I don't have to watch a lot of videos because what you do is when you're on Zufu is you can click if you have multiple monitors, which I do, you can click on the next fight to see the abilities of the um, the thing coming against you. You can copy the script. You can write the script if you have TD Pet Battle script with yep. rematch. So rematch, all you have to do is push the one key and then pay attention to your health. Because if you're going to be one-shot KO on a pet that's supposed to solo the fight, you have to stop hitting the auto-press key before you die. Because what happens is the pets that, the pet, the throwaway pets that are your backup, your backline pets may not be as good as your first line of pets. Like, I had an ethereal soul trader as my backline pet. Why? That's a pet that cost 75k back in the day. Right, I remember. It picked that, it picked that because it, it takes reduced damage because it has a magic... Um, magic family. Family. So it picked that. But it was not a good pet for damage. So <laughs> I ended up having to use that just before... It went to die so that I could get my mechanical pet back in the fight after two rounds. And I like, if I hadn't been paying attention, I would have had to uh, start the heroic dungeon rack from the beginning because you can't heal and you can't resurrect your pets if you die in the heroic version. Mm-hmm. It, like there's a there's like a big disclaimer on your window, so. So your heal button doesn't work. It's disabled. So you have, you have this Zufu, I think, Grand Angus, you asked back in the day if they would do a guide for the dungeons. And what, what they did is they did the best case scenario. Because like I said, the green light, the yellow light, and the uh, maybe amber light is if there's too much RNG, you don't have that those pets level that you need. Zufu's not going to guarantee you can get do it. They're going to take a look at your collection. They're going to slot the best pets in. They're going to give you the script with one button to push. But they're not going to guarantee if you haven't level done your homework and level over everything. So, like I said, I only had 500 at max level. And one of my rabbits was level 17. And guess what? 
I went into the dungeon. Here's a trick for you. I went into the dungeon with a purple uh, battle stone. And that tech came up in the slot and it was about to die. And I realized it was not max level. So I used my stone on that pet. I quit the fight. I used that stone on the fight, and it made it max level and healed it. So that was a little workaround. But if I didn't have the stones in my bags, I would have had to start the dungeon over because I didn't pay attention to what Zufu was trying to say to me. Hmm. <laughs> so there's ways to gain the system, but you have to be a little bit uh, devious and uh, it's not it's not that I should have leveled the other pet. It's that was the breed I needed. So that's what Zufu slotted for that script. The the, the readiness, the strategy readiness. Yes, um, that's, that's it. what you what you're talking about. Yes, that, it doesn't have anything to do with your pets. I have to correct you with that. What it indicates, the strategy yeah. readiness indicates purely and exclusively, it says so in the, in the tooltip, this strategy has been tested for Shadowlands and will continue to work after the Shadowlands pre-patch. It's only indicating to you red, yellow, or green whether the strategy that has been displayed, that you've selected, has uh, the pets that are uh, fighting in that strategy are working as intended or might not work because the strategy has not been tested after or since the pre-patch or it doesn't work anymore because the strategy uh, the stats of the opponent or your selected pets have been changed. There was so it's got a there was a note in the one that came up with the yellow uh, yep. indicator that the Terraclaw hatchling abilities had been changed. Exactly, and uh, yeah, the exactly person my- main, maintaining the web page had not uh, changed it since November, but. Because of the patch, um, one guy said uh, on third round, don't um, don't follow the strat. Change this because you yep. you will not survive the fight. Exactly, exactly. If you if you um, go not every night, but uh, if you want to. Uh, watch a stream if you are a uh, pet battle enthusiast, fan, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Go go and visit Dragons After Dogs Twitch stream. Yeah. Whenever she follow her, and uh, go and watch her do, uh, on her Twitch stream. At the moment. As of last week, I think she was still going through the strategies that have been on the website of on the Zufu's website pretty much since yeah, since they've been made and hasn't reached the end of confirming all the strategies yet, as far as I know. So that's how many strategies there are in the entire pet wild wow, pet battle system. So the um, the strats for Dead Mine, the last update was November twentieth of twenty twenty. So yeah. that's fairly recent. Yep. But like like you said, the the Terraclaw Hatchling one wasn't verified. Yep. Because there was there was an ability that was changed around. Yeah. So yeah, I'm 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 just saying it's it's uh, some something that uh, that that's what the 
strategy readiness is is uh, the indicator for uh, for the strategy readiness is basically uh, the singular purpose is to update people about the validity of the strategy after the shadow that prepatch has has been implemented. Much like the, the bulk of my week was um, Thursday afternoon through Sunday morning. I got up real real early this morning to uh, to do my pet battles. Like there's a, a really good quest in Ardenweald for 19 pet charms. So basically, I did it on all my alts, and I have. Two, I have two new alts on the alliance side, so I think now I have fifteen times nineteen charms because I wanted to get another accursed hexer. Did I give you one of those, a brilliant and a cursed hexer? A cursed hexer? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Just check and pet. Um, nope, I don't have an accursed hexer. Pet journal ACC. I don't have it on that. Nope. Okay, I got 500 pet charms. It's 500 pet charms for that. Oh, my So gosh. I'll go pick one up and uh, mail it to you. All right, thank you. They want they want 120K on the auction house. You're That's kidding. That's not right. That's not right. <laughs> it's supposed to be 70K or 80K. But That's so Because it's from last expansion, right? But yeah. people are gouging, so what they do is they find a pet for like 60, 65 K and then they go to a realm where the, the population is different and then they try to sell it for double. So, well, it is what it is. Yeah. <sighs> all right. Do all the zones in the classic, um, classic retail scale the 60? Yes. Wait. So I'm in Ungoro Crater right now, and my level 22. Oh yeah! Wow. And does like he doesn't have to worry about the di- the big dinosaurs or anything? Uh, mm. yes, he does. You said scaling to 60. Yes. yes. From 10? No. No, he's uh, level 20, 23. Yeah, but that's that's. Again, I'm not sure as to the lower end of the spectrum of levels, but, uh, sorry, the scale to 50, not 60. And I think that's what you meant. Mm. Um, It's the same bracket with any expansion, including the non-expansion that is classic, that is vanilla, 10 to 50. And then the current expansion, Shadowlands 50 to 60. So regardless of what you pick, you always work from 10 to 60. You can't go at, 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 at level 10. You cannot go into, um, in Wrath, you cannot go into Ice Crown. You're not high enough yet. Right. You cannot go in... In, in uh, vanilla, you cannot go into Onguru or into Silithus at level 10. You're not high enough yet. That's what I meant. It says so you need, you if need I, to if meet... If I mouse up. over all the zones, it says 10 to 30 for all the zones or something. It's weird. Hmm. Maybe it's because I'm in a group and it just assumes that... Um, That's interesting. I can back up the, the other character if he gets into trouble. My can you go? Question: Can you go to Chromie and ask her to pick vanilla as, as Chromie time? That might be. You know why it's thirty? Because thirty is half a sixty. It doesn't matter. <laughs> well, well it does. Assume. It does because classic is not one to thirty. It but used it to be one to sixty, but it's but it should, to yeah, but now. it shouldn't. 
But it shouldn't be though, because you you're not supposed to go to Chromie at level thirty. Thirty to forty is Outland and uh, yeah, I know ice, ice ground. I know, but why? Is that is that all outside of outside of Chromie time? That might be that there are two different variables. As again. Again, my question, if you go to Chromi, I haven't, I, 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 I can't recall me consciously noticing it. Can you pick, because there was a controversy, either they didn't have it and then they implemented it yeah. or they had it and then removed it. What I mean by, with it is vanilla as a content yeah. "Quote unquote expansion for Chromie time." If that is the case, then it makes sense what you're saying with yeah. one to th- or ten to thirty. Right. If I, it's I picked not P- Pandaria, I picked Pandaria for yeah. um, for one of my characters, and it's all yeah. messed up because I can't. If, if I go to Pandaria, I can't group with anybody when I'm there. Well, it why doesn't. Not? It doesn't allow me to um, to see them. I'm uh, faced. Even if you battle uh, soon? Uh. Yes and no. You can group with the people that are in Chromi time as well. Ah. Oh. Or you can, what you can do is, uh, uh, what's the group group up thingy? Party thing. Party thing. Uh, party thing. That should help too. Mm. Yeah. So, but it, I mean, it makes sense that what you if what you're saying is true yeah and you go to pandaria in chromi time and you're level 10 yeah and a person that's not in chromi time not in any chromi time is at level 40 yeah must be 40 yeah 45 maybe 40 45 when they start in pandaria they are scaled differently so they can't you can't interact with them because they are on a different might even be on a different chart 41 different, 41 is warlords of draenor yeah so it's 35 to 40 yeah. might yeah whatever level um so I would assume that that as long or as soon as you are linked with uh, through party sync or as soon as someone else has chosen Pandaria as their Chromi time, then you should be able to interact uh, and play with them. Again, that's my assumption. Doesn't mean that it's guaranteed that it is that way, but. That would be such a complicated strategy when you multi-box, eh? <laughs> Here's my challenge is to multi-box. No, it's consequential. It's oh, no 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 it's no it's not consequential. What's what's the term? It's 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 it, it's it's logical. Because because you work on two different premise, premises. You work with one does the questing from ten to fifty. Yeah. And one just wants to hop in and out again. So you, you you don't want the full experience. So it's different parameters you work with. So you, you shouldn't be able to interact. One just wants to collect the shiny XP and not yeah. kill anything. And the other one just wants to get the gear. So yeah. uh, sometimes I don't even pick up all the quests yeah. because I, I, would, I just want... I just want the XP from the one and the other one to um, to gear up. Because when you do archaeology, you don't get a lot of gear. So you have to get gear at some point. Mm. I know that. Yeah. Oh, I got to craft my uh, friend from work. I got to craft a lot of um, uh Male gear for his hunter with mm. relics. Oh, so ooh, relics yeah. of the past. When the guy's level 41, you can craft a relic of the past level four. 
into the gear, some of the leather gear, and then it automatically brings up the eye level to 48. So if you socket that into newer gear, you can downgrade it to his expansion. Or if you find a piece of gear which doesn't have quite the right stats, it's too high of a level for him to equip, you can use the gear to downgrade it a bit. So like, let's say a level 60, for, for example's sake, let's say a level 60, I level 100 piece of gear, you don't plan to sell in the auction house, you can downgrade it to I level 48 and required level 41 for him to use. So I've just been mailing him all kinds of gear while leveling my professions because sometimes you don't have the mats and I you always use my blacksmith to make the relics. I don't know what other profession can make the relics. But any no. crafting profession. Any crafting profession. Yep. Um, I just learned the novice marks on my enchanter, so I guess there's a piece of gear that the enchanter can craft. I don't know if it's the wands or something. So uh, I'm learning quite a bit about professions, and uh, that's pretty much been my week. Awesome. I have uh, I have lots to do. I uh, I don't have another max level, sadly. I'm going to try and level up my hordes to have a max level horde because I, I want to be able to participate in content if uh, my buddy or Granigus or Prillian invites me to go somewhere, I want to be able to summon them, and I want to be able to... Oh! Fairness. There's archaeology over here. And, uh, yeah. Dig, dig, digging. <laughs> <laughs> and I still don't have a Torrent at max level, so I can't kill my own Torrent. So I'll have to go to a Ashran, I guess, if I want some kills. And that's been my week. Very nice. Sorry, I haven't been watching a chat room. All right. Well, that's okay. I'll, I'll be just... Woo, 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 woo. Okay. How's our chat room doing? We have Glamours, Bing Cortana, Slotnik, and uh, one more. I forget. Oh, welcome to the chat room. Hope you enjoy this. <laughs> I had a friend last week who joined us but doesn't play. And I I mean, I really appreciate it. I, I think it's great that you, you spend your time. Yeah. And I'm sorry, I understand. I mean, if it is a lot. It is overwhelming. It's uh, It's a lot like knowing a certain language but not knowing... <laughs> What the language I mean, means. Not everyone can play the game. We can't have like 7 billion people playing the game. Right, uh, exactly. I mean, we could, but mm, yeah. Mm. We could. That would make Blizzard Cyberdyne, basically. No, that's Amazon, hon. That's Amazon. Mm. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, with a player base of 7 billion? Yeah, that would be I pretty would, much. Right, a little yeah. too much. All right. Mini alts. My dog is trying to poop for the horn and for the alliance. It was funny in my head. Brilliant. How was your weekend? Wow. Oh, um, it's been <laughs> complicated. So, you know, one of the things that I'm big on, and I don't know if anybody knows this, but a lot of my spare time when I'm not playing World of Warcraft is when I'm playing uh, VR, and I spend a lot of time in virtual reality. Um, the whole thing has become a lot cheaper and a lot easier to access. Um, I have an Oculus 2, which is like two ninety nine. dollars It's cheaper than a PlayStation and definitely cheaper than, you know, a computer that can run World of Warcraft. But um, I, I had figured out a while ago, like last year, how to get World of Warcraft into VR 
and I was doing it, but you needed a keyboard. And it was kind of rough right. because you had to wear the, the, the gear on your head. And for those of you that don't know, but this is what the gear looks like. You, you wear this over, oh, yeah. you look through this and see a 3D world. And, and here's the thing, and I mentioned this before, I'm sure. Um, world of Warcraft is inherently designed for VR. Um, the times that I've gone in, I walk through Ogremore, I the skins is already there. It's the best skinned yeah. game out here. Uh, the feel of Ogremar was wonderful. I think I did a, a, a joint through uh, Booty Bay, and it was great. But um, well, here's the half, thing. Half of the installation is textures. Right. The textures are amazing. Kudos to Blizzard for how well they did the texture. But here's the thing about World of Warcraft that makes it different from every other console game. The keyboard. The keyboard is key. There's so many things. It's not just the moving. It's the uh, function keys and stuff. And what in order to really function in VR, you have to somehow translate this into this. <laughs> and you can. Mm -hmm. It's possible. And they there's um there's all sorts of add there's an add on called con I'm trying to get this piece of paper. I hope I can get it. Uh, oh. This add on I don't know if you can see this, but it maps out the controls to the buttons, and then you can shift. But the thing is, it's all muscle memory. Yeah. So in order for me to use this. I'm going to have to get the memory down, but I'm worried that it might affect my memory on the keyboard. Right. You know, it's like um, yep. it's like when you go into outer space and you have to relearn how to move. But if you come back, you can live out there, or you could live and walk in Earth. You can't do both. <laughs> right. Well, that's my analogy for that. So. Um, Console port has an add-on, and I know that they turned on the ability to use the gamepad on in WoW, but it's still a lot of work. Right. Um, I'm on vacation this week, and one of my tasks is to see um, what I can do to get into VR um, in in World of Warcraft. Uh, I may just have go back you, to the, hmm? Have you checked? Like uh, YouTube videos on of people that have tried VR or console or, or a controller play for. Oh, yeah, I'm doing it, Hans. I'm doing it. I don't need to check the videos. I'm doing it. I'm just saying that my biggest problem is learning this as opposed to keyboard. Mm. And I can do it, and I've done it. Um, and, and there's nothing, and I may do a video myself, because there's nothing recent. Everything that's on YouTube is from a couple of years ago. So I may go ahead and do a YouTube video on how to do it. Um, console port, Wild Mopper, and uh, Blizzard have put in a lot of good controls. I'm in there using this, but it's, like I said, it's more the muscle, muscle memory than anything else. Because... Yeah, but Blizzard... Sorry that I'm, that I'm interrupting you, but Blizzard explicitly stated that they implemented full controller support for, right, War, that's not the for World of Warcraft. Yes, I'm in the controller support. I'm using controls. I'm in there. Good. I'm moving my character with the gamepad, with this. I'm, I'm totally Good. in. My, my, my issue isn't this, it's this. And, yeah, and, yeah, and I get it. it yeah. It's just that you said it, it was like from a couple of years ago. Which... The videos that are on YouTube oh, okay, that okay, show good, you okay, interacting okay. with VR on WoW are from a couple of years ago. Good. I haven't found anything from this year, which is why I may make a video to show that I have mm -hmm. successfully um, used this to play, to use the gamepad. And then the next mm -hmm. step, and I have gone into, there's a program I have. Um, it was like 60 bucks, VoIP X, that when you load it and you put on the gear. But so, so this is what I'm, this is basically the issue. When I put on my headset 
the thing I showed earlier. Mm -hmm. When you put this on, okay. when you put this on and you look through those holes, usually you're standing in the middle of your room. And then ideally this would be working and I would be moving around in wow on this. And it works. It's great. Um, but this is always harder for me. What I really want to do, and I'm, I'm, I'm almost af too afraid to get too attached to this because when I do get attached to this one, I'm going back to using my keyboard. My brain is rewired. But either way, it's fun. It's great. Being in VR, one of the things I'm going to do this week. And, um, yeah, it's... I'm, I'll, I'll stream about it. Maybe I'll stream on our channel. I don't know. Mm -hmm. And we'll see what happens. Because I'm, I'm looking in YouTube, mm -hmm. and I found, wow, Shadowlands controller guide, no add-ons needed five months ago, uh, how to configure your controller for World of Warcraft um, guide. How okay. to set up a controller for WoW? I have no problem with uh, that. I'm, I don't know why you keep talking no, about I'm, that. I have the I have the controller set. It's all set. I got this, yeah. and I have it set. And I'm I have it just, I'm, yeah, I'm just saying because you said a couple of years no, ago. No, I'm talking about VR playing. I know yep. they told you the controller map, but I'm talking about virtual reality playing in WoW. The controller mm -hmm. map is really good and and it's excellent and and it's wonderful, but. Once, I'm talking about actually playing in VR, not just using the mm -hmm. controller map. Am I making sense? I'm not making sense? Yes. Okay. You are. <laughs> so that's my goal this week is to do some more and do some videos on how to use VR in, um, in WoW. I wish they would um, come out with a VR thingy. I saw some articles from a few years ago where people were saying um, or some posts um, on uh, on um, the community pages where they wish there was more uh, VR access. In fact, it would be nice if there was just a game that played World of Warcraft in VR. I don't know if that will ever come, but that's my dream. Uh, there are some MMORPGs in VR, but they're not as fun as World of Warcraft, and they're not what I want. But other than that, um, playing WoW, let's go over my week, my week in WoW. So after I, f I fooled around with that, I had to get back to the regular playing. And I'm playing on my new iMac. I'm playing, I can play WoW on my new iMac. I just can't um, podcast on it. And I'm telling you, the graphics are beautiful. It's faster. Uh, it is an SSD drive, so I don't know if yeah. I have... Yeah, that really helps a lot. And I'm, yeah. I'm dual boxing. And <laughs> I am in... Right now I am in... Oh, wait. First of all, April, Aprilian dinged 54, so I'm getting there. Yay, um, fast. I was doing pet battles in... Um, in a... Uh, Kalimdor. That's where uh, mm -hmm. where um, yeah. Ogrimmar is, right? Kalimdor. Yep. Kalimdor. Okay. Yeah. And I was in Mount Hyjal because I wanted to level up some tune, some some um, pets because I got kind of incensed by my report last week that said I didn't. I had X amount of uh, high level pets, so I decided, oh, let me get some really high level pets. And I was leveling, um, and it's funny because I'm not understanding the differences here. If I am in in Kalimdor digging, I will get 400 and something, 4,000, I'm sorry, 4,625 XP per dig, per, uh, you know, archaeology click mm -hmm. uh, per item you dig up. But, and I don't understand this, in Draenor, I'm only getting 2310. Different no, or, expansion. Draenor, hmm. the scaling's different, and there, the zones aren't as spread out. So I think there's a, 
there's a, like a glitch there. None, none of the um, XP rewards are as good as Kalimdor and Eastern Kingdoms. Well, I came to Draenor mainly because I came to the garrison and yeah. I wanted, and and then there was some quests in the menagerie, and so I went, I went there to do some pet battling. And I won, and I got some stones, and I got some XP. And then I looked out, and I said, there is archaeology here. Why don't I dig here and, at the same time, complete some of these pet battle things? Right. And, and um, so I've been pet battling. I've been pet battling, um, what do you call them? The people. The trainers? I'm sorry? The trainers? Yeah. Thank you. I've been pet battling the trainers in Draenor and digging and um, and I'm getting good XP on both. I um I I'm on my new computer so I had to re-download WoW UI and um, pull up some more add-ons. At the time I had almost none and then I got rematch and I accidentally got something called Archie Bag and then I got this I'll put a link. I'll put a uh, screenshot in the show notes. I got this whole thing with my bags. I don't know. It's funny now. I'm back to thinking the bags are okay. I remember being. What was that one um, add-on that did the bags, and they did it really well? Um, Arc inventory. Arc inventory. Right. I felt like I was back in Arc inventory, and it's again. It's like <laughs> it's like the controller. Versus keyboard. Yeah, AG, oh. AGI bags is basically a a uh, generic preset version of that, right. where it has a whole set of preset categories that does the same thing, kind of. Right. But it was overwhelming at the time. I may go back to it. I disabled mm-hmm. it for a second. I may go back to it because I just needed to see what I could sell because my bags were getting full. <laughs> and then I did do something I haven't done in a while. I dabbled in uh, tailoring. I made a relic mm-hmm. of the past and I made a, because I have a gajillion shy Dorel silk and then I went to the um, auction house and I bought some penumbra thread which wasn't that expensive so but here's the thing I'm already I'm at legion terror oh do I have to go somewhere to choose shadowland um tailoring I guess the ring of fates Hmm? the ring of fates there's a work work workers quarters in the top left corner Kind of like uh, under city, right? Okay, so maybe that's what I need to do before I go any further because everything I have, everything in tailoring is uh, there's no skill up. Yeah. Although yep. um, I'm I'm thinking now that I have um, both April and oh shoot, what the heck? April and Aprilian out in uh, Draenor. And Aprilian is tailoring, and April is uh, enchanting. So I'm pretty sure there are things that Aprilian can make that April can take advantage of and uh, and disenchant. So that's my next goal. All right. Uh, April is at fifty two, and Aprilian is at fifty four. And uh, we're both doing archaeology and pet battling and pet trainers and stuff. And I'm uh, leveling up some pets. And uh, next week, I'll either be, well, I'll probably be 55 and 53. And I will have some tales on virtual reality in World of Warcraft. Just a quick question. Um, When you see Blinktron... Can you cash him once, or can you cash him twice with your two accounts? You can do them twice, because they're diff. They're not. I can only do it once. I can Wait, only do it do once. Have, it's the same email. Battle.net account, so it's just one Battle.net account. See, I have two Battle.net I, accounts. Yeah, that's what oh, I. Oh, mean. yeah, yeah. I have two Battle.net accounts. I well, 
three. No, wow. two battle net accounts. April is yeah. on one and Apulian's on the other. So, yeah, we can both get the bling charm. <laughs> yeah, you can have... The thing is, Blizzard is that way. You can have, theoretically, eight battle net accounts with one license mm. yeah. per account, a total of eight WoW licenses, mm. or you can have one battle net account with eight licenses on that one. Mm. Same thing, max of one battle net account can hold up to eight World of Warcraft licenses. Right. That means that if you have eight times one, you can do bring one eight times. If you have one times, times eight, eight, you can do <laughs> you it, can do it once. once. Right. <laughs> it seems, you still have right. eight licenses, but right. the difference is how many okay. battle net accounts you have. And uh, that's been my week. Mm-hmm. Yay. I find it very, very easy to be true. I'm, I'm on a schönsten Paris Dorsenhaus und am Sonst mich einst in die Welten aus. Und in der Ferne suchte ich mein Glück. Wer kennt den Weg? Den Weg zurück. And now. It's time for Add On Spotlight and a whole bunch of other things with Grand Nagus. Grand Nagus, what do you have for us this week? First, I want to mention something that we talked about in chat. And that is uh, Inoki Fungus said in re- response to our a chat about the game time okay. and the subscription and all that. Mm-hmm. He said, so to buy game time with gold, oh. you have to buy two tokens between two, to- because two tokens equal 60 games of uh, days of game time. Right. Oh, that's Which is, would technically be true if the Tokens bought you game time, with which they don't. Mm-mm. They buy you the gold. game time. The let's let's you... start anew once more. There are three payment methods for World of Warcraft. One is the regular sub. One is the game time that you buy in the shop. That has now been homogenized to only giving you 60 days for 30 bucks. And then there is the WoW token that you can either buy in the shop and then use in-game for gold or apply as Blizzard Balance no, the Blizzard balance to buy. How is it? Yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah. Confu- so, it's confusing. It's confusing. Anyway, that's not that's not the point. The point is that the amount of play time, not game time, play time you get when you cash in, so to speak. A token is 30 days. But the token is not considered game time in a technical sense because the game time has one distinct, unique feature that, and this is where it it gets very easy to understand, that the sub and the token do not have a unique feature, and that feature is it's giftable. You can gift game time. You can gift a code that is then 
redeemable for game time. You cannot do that with a token. You cannot gift someone a token. Right. You cannot gift someone a sub. That doesn't work. Game time is unique in that essence. And that is the dis distinguishing factor of game time. That's why it's called game time. You can go to a shop, to a store, and buy game time. Right. You can't go to a store and buy a sub. You can For a while, you cannot go to a store and buy a token. It's a completely separate thing. It's a product. That only that that is a code, in essence. So that's why it's so unique. And the token has the unique feature that you can use it for for in-game gold and for playtime. <laughs> and you can even turn it into Blizzard Balance if you want that. So each of the three versions of payment have unique distinguishing features. So let's just make that clear that people don't get confused. Right. That they now have to spend two tokens to get 60 days of game time, which right. it, you never purchase game time with your token. You always purchased play time. Game time is a technical term, a name for a feature that is a code. Sorry so, about that. No, that's, that's okay. it, it, it's just we need to we need to make this clear, I think, because it's it's it something is confusing. that it's confusing. It's very it is very confusing, exactly. So so we don't want people to say, oh yeah, uh, how is this? How does this work? And as um, Enoki Fungus uh, said earlier, uh, how does it work? And and do I have to do this, that, and the other? You're perfectly fine with your with your token the way it's always worked now. Right. This uh, is just about it's the always ability. worked. It hasn't changed one iota. It still works exactly the same way it did last week. Right. It's all about the gifting part. It's all about the gift. It's a good, that's a good point. It's a game time is a gift card. Exactly. Right. Just you gift it to yourself right. if you want to. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. I, I spent a month selling pets on an auction house to get a friend a Vile de Sands recipe. Mm. He earned Vile de Sands recipe. I provided all the mats for him to make it. I said, you have to sell the first one. Don't learn it. Sell it so you can start profiteering. He learned it. Aww. So I spent more time gathering more gold, selling <laughs> pets to get him another vial of sands. All set up. He put that one in the auction house. He sold it and he bought a wild token and he quit the game. No. The auction house just wasn't for him. Mm. He quit the game over the auction house. No. And he's been playing since launch. Wow, He's been playing crazy. since day one. That's crazy. That's crazy. So mm -hmm. oh, sure. I thought I thought I thought I was gonna teach a man to fish, but it turned out the, the fish ate the man. Ate the man. <laughs> I like that. The, the old, yeah, the old man in the sea. The old man in the sea, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Oh, it was a rough day. You can lead a... I was, or, was it, or was it Ahab? I don't know. Can't I be. was so mad when he bought the wild token because I thought, you throw away all that gold that I gave to you. You never had more than 20k in the game since launch. Sure. <laughs> and I got him like 
60, 80 K mm. and he threw it all away. Oh my God. I was so bad. Mm. Poor guy. Stuff good. happens. It does. It does. Okay. Indeed. So, um, Add-ons. I want to talk about something today that I've um, had an issue with for for quite a while, and I don't know why I hadn't uh, remedied it earlier. Now I have, and I thought, hmm, okay, so I'm going to talk about it, and that is the lack of, and it's it's. Not quite the same, but it's similar in retail. But it's it's more significant in classic. So, and that's the markings and the ability to show icons for the respective NPCs that you need. Oh, okay. Like, for instance, banker auctioneer, uh, profession trainers, uh, uh, class trainers, all that stuff. Uh, you can only do so much in classic and you uh, which is way less that you can than you can do in, in, in retail. So an add-on that handy nodes came up with or a module for their suite of add-ons now, or whatever you want to call it, for their base, is handy notes underscore NPCs, uh, classic in this case. So what that does is it uh, gets rid of what I just mentioned, the lack of, of uh, icons, positions, uh, to see, for you to see where you have to go to do what. A thing that is even better is that when you mouse over one of these icons, it will tell you what feature it holds for you. So, for instance, when you, in classic, are looking for a artisan profession trainer or a journeyman trainer or an expert trainer, whichever stage of training you need, it will not only give you the icon, the little spell book icon, when you mouse over the respective icon, it will tell you what kind of, what rank of trainer it is. So you can basically uh, call up the map of any of the capital cities and check which capital city do I need to visit for the respective training rank that I need to learn now. Um, so I really, really like that. Um, it's something that obviously you don't need in retail anymore because there is no more ranking in 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 the initial vanilla uh, professions training. You only have one to thirty to to three hundred, but still, it's something that that I really really like the fact and there are quite a few other um, explanatory and informational things in the tooltip there so I just wanted to mention if you need a little help with getting around especially if people feel that oh yeah I I don't feel comfortable in this city. Many people say they don't feel comfortable in Orgrimmar in the old uh, one because they're used to the new one or in oh, Undercity because the circle... Or, yeah. 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 Or or they don't like um, 
iron forge for the same reason that it's, it's a circle, it's more complicated yeah, or whatnot. Or there are so many reasons why people don't like this, that, or the other city. You can you can quickly see what. You know, what, what really saved me need. in Iron Forge is that little tube. Like when you're in the middle by the flight master and you realize mm-hmm. that there's a whole, there's a tunnel mm-hmm. above that you can fly down and be right in the auction house. And once, yep. you, once you learn that, it, it saves you so much hassle. But yeah. If you're in retail, yeah. If, oh, right. <laughs> Why? It's not there. Oh, you can't fly. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, my God. You can fly. You can't um, fly. So it's like yeah, you're it's, crippled. It's, it's, oh, never mind. Sorry. Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so my forsaken holy priest, she's still walking. She is just shy of thinking level 30 now. Mm. And uh, she is, uh, she got quite a bit of, of, of nice gear. The other day we went through um, Black Fathom Deep. Sadly, she didn't get what she was there for, the staff that was ninja looted, because the... <laughs> No, no, it wasn't Ninja do it. It was the the loot uh, option was set to uh, free for all. So oh. another person just looted it, and you are not able to trade loot. So uh, yeah, mm. oh, I remember free for all. <laughs> yeah, I remember you had to make it's, sure you did it's it. It's nice and good, right? As long as. You're with people understand people. Right. how it works, but yeah, yeah again, I'm, I'm not I'm not too too terribly mad. Uh, I got a pair of pants from there, and uh, right. so I'm I, and they were like 124 percent, I believe, upgrade. Mm. So that wasn't that wasn't too shabby. Um, <laughs> She's quite, she's quite uh, well equipped at the moment. Uh, she got a new wand that brought her from seventeen DPS, I think, all the way to twenty nine DPS. So that was that was a real. Improvement and ones are very, very, very important for for casters in classic. So that's something that uh, really, really was 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 really helpful. <laughs> um, with regards to crafting. Uh, She's just shy of two points of being able to craft her first green hood uh, to get her first uh, uh, magically enhanced uh, headpiece rather than a, a white hood that she's got now that only got obviously only only armor. So it's, it's a green, and that's, but it's still really powerful. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, normally, I'll level uh, my professions according to the WoW well, uh, professions uh, website. But at this stage, the tailoring requires me to dive, uh, to to do it a little different because I'm uh, still at a point where I can get skill points 
orange skill point, guaranteed skill points from making small silk packs. And uh, I'm going to continue to do that for as long as I can. Uh, except the one skill point that gives me the, the headpiece at, at 160. I'm at 158 of 225 at the moment. So I need to craft two more bags, 10 slot bags, which means I need to get some more heavy leather, which means I need to jump through several hoops to find. Um, what I usually do is I go to um, Strangethorn Vale. I take the Zeppelin to Grongol and fish if there is a rare kitsch uh, pool there. Or I go to to other areas like in um, in Stone Talon Mountains, there are a couple of wreckage pools as well. Um, so those are areas where I'll go and, and check for wreckage and then open the, the, uh, the boxes you get. Right. And those usually give you uh, uh, bolts of cloth rather than cloth and some leather or some other stuff. And more often than not, if you go to the right area at the right level, uh, you get, or in my case, I get uh, silk um, bolts of silk cloth and heavy or thick leather. Not that I use or that I need thick leather yet, but I'll send it to my shaman, which is my leather worker. So she has a couple of uh, leather already. You can never have too much leather because you can always upgrade it. Um, so that's that's a good thing with the with the leather that as as uh, much as you need to upgrade you can you still always have the upgrading possibility whether it's two three four or five pieces of the lower leather to the next higher one right it's expensive trading one for five but or five for one, but you still have the option. With with cloth, you don't have that option. So that, that makes leather unique in that aspect. So I really, really like that. You can't do that with ore either. So, um, yeah, and that's why every single piece of leather I'm sending off to my leather worker to then upgrade to the most current uh, type of leather that I that I need. Um, waiting to to get to the point where she can where she can upgrade from medium to heavy to then make the silk packs. Uh, but she needs to get to level 20 to learn that. And she's only level 17 at the moment. Mm. So it's going to be a little while. But again, as I said last week, my priest needs to be level 35 before any other tomb can, can be uh, prioritized. So... Um, I would assume that it's going to take me about two weeks to get her to 35, depending upon how much playtime she gets. Um, if there are more people that I can play with at level, it's better than 
uh, obviously rewards more um, data, more more XP than if you just get get uh, guided through a dungeon. Right. Let's phrase it that way. If you're actually doing if something you, rather than. Right, exactly. Doing something rather than just uh, yeah, following someone that's basically massacring everything. Not that I'm against that. No, right. I mean, it, no is a, it, it is it is a viable form of leveling and sure, playing. Sure, yeah. sure, sure, sure. It's just not as efficient. Right. Viable yet not. Yeah. So. Yeah, and then the nice good. things you had the hunter with hunter's mark. So I always knew which way to go following the, <laughs> the directions hunter. of the hunter. Yeah. He didn't pull for me, he just marked the targets. Yeah. Well, that was good. Yeah, but with uh I don't know, hunters, I have my my obviously my troll hunter. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because classic troll hunter is perfect. Because uh, the trolls with their racial advanced health three gen, yep, and then you have the uh, bonus against uh, beasts damage, right. uh, and you have the um, you have the bonus skill to bows, right? So it's a double bonus extra. Uh, extra damage plus extra extra weapon skill so that's a must absolutely in my my opinion unless you do pvp uh, for for pve hunter on the horde side should should be trolls in my opinion right. so Yeah, um, with the enchanting, I'm at 140 of 225, and I've arrived at the point, finally, where I can just sell the gear that requires enchanting skill of 1 or 25 to disenchant. So that gives me some gold in my coffers. So... I have my my add-on. Can't remember which it is. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, tells me what um, skill enchanting skill I need to be mm. to disenchant the respective piece of gear, and. Uh, I think I'm going to research that and talk about it a little more next week. Um, so yeah, as for as soon as it's one or twenty-five, which is other steps, um, then I'm going to sell the stuff. If it's fifty or above, which is the next threshold, I'm going to disenchant it, and I'm at one forty. So that means that. The brackets are 50, 75, 100, and 125. Not that I'm going to get those type of numbers anytime soon, but uh, I have the uh, capability to disenchant stuff for other people if the need should arise. And that's a good thing. Yeah, it's very handy to have. Uh, uh, yeah. So, oh yeah. Do you can you disenchant? Sure, I can trade disenchant, trade back the mats. Done. So, um, so that means that I'm done with the magic essences. I have like a whole boatload of them. Uh, and uh, the uh, strange dust. So I'm moving on to soul dust and 
astral essence is now greater and lesser, obviously, <laughs> as as always. And I look forward to upgrading my gear, um, my staff that I got from, where did I get it from? Can't remember. From Shadow Fan Keep, I think. No, from, I got it as a quest reward from Wedding Cabins. Talked oh. about this last week. Um, I finally got the first and the second, for that matter, uh, two handed weapon enchant. One is striking which I think gives you one or three, one, two, three, something like that, mm. damage increase. And the one that I used is plus three spirit, which obviously I, I use as a holy priest. And it's a um, enchantment that I can still skill with. So that's if I were to get another staff soon or someone else in my group provides me with the mats since I don't have those mats yet. Um, I can enchant those things for them. Which, yeah, which always is, is nice and... Uh, that's the thing with, uh, I mentioned this a couple of weeks ago when I first talked about this, this second uh, priest that you can't, because they don't exist yet, use vellums. Uh, so you have to trade, enchant other people's gear, open trade, put it in the lower trade window slot and then click on enchant and then trade and then it completes the enchantment is completed by completion of the trade so yeah more about the priest's adventures next week that's been my week so I expect next week to be a very busy week for me. Um, pet battles starts on um, Wednesday or Tuesday. I don't know. Double XP. Yeah. Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, they, they had they had this strange occurrence early earlier in the day where they said that uh, maintenance was going to be Wednesday. Oh, that's weird. And I was thinking, what's going on here? Are we, like, consolidating? Mm. Are we, like, saying, well, the whole world is, is going to be, like, a, a, a global reset a reset now, a global maintenance? But apparently they switched, they changed their minds, or whatever you want to call it. And it's back to Tuesday? Well, it's back to Tuesday, yeah. And, and they not only had the Wednesday there, they had the date, the right date for for the 31st set there. So it was uh, really strange. It was okay. as if I thought, have I logged into the European Battle.net? What's going on here? <laughs> and I saw it said PDT. No, that can't be right. Because that would be European time, then Central European Daylight Time. So that, I, I, I was really confused. Mm, somebody clicked the wrong button for something. Apparently, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah, they, yeah. they, they changed that. So, mm. yeah, so, so we're back to Tuesday, Tuesday maintenance. And then, uh, of course, uh, Dark Moon Fair on Sunday. And then... That's next week. Right. Are we sure? Can you look at... I'm not... I'm in... I'm in battle, so I can't see a calendar. Can you see it? Uh, okay, I'm... Because I'm not in game. I'm, right, I know. Constructs? Oh. 
Do we lose? Uh, that moves there next week. What day? Next week. We okay. know next week. But what day? Sunday. Sunday. Okay. The 4th. Right. Sunday, yes. April 4th. My and brother's then, birthday. And then what day does Noble Garden start? Uh, Noble Garden starts uh, the 5th. April 5th. Which is yeah. weird because yeah. Yeah. you would think it would start, isn't Easter Sunday? You think it would start before Easter. Easter Monday. Easter, Fifth. well, for us, Easter is Sunday. Good Friday is, well, that's the holiday I get off. Good Friday is the day off. Yeah. For us, it's Easter Monday. We have two Easters. We have Easter Sunday and Easter Monday. Right, Good but either Friday, way, you think Noble Garden would start before that, but. I guess it's trying to separate. You, you would, but then it would it would wouldn't make sense with regards to to um, uh, to the calendar timing. I'm just saying you when you when we have when we have I Christmas. Personally, I personally think Blizzard doesn't want to be bug fixing on a stat. Right, but I'm just saying with Christmas. The holiday and all the events start before Christmas, go through Christmas, and last after Christmas. This seems to be starting yeah. after Easter. That's all I'm saying. Yes. You know, I don't know. I mean, there might be other reasons why they're doing it. It's just different than their normal procedure. Thanksgiving, uh, the whatever the pseudo festival is, starts before Thanksgiving, goes through Thanksgiving, and, and ends after Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. So this is starting after Easter. Which is different. But anyway. Again. <laughs> Again. Right, right. And Blizzard can do whatever they want it to. Yeah. Right. But, but technically for Europe, we still have Easter on Monday. That's what I'm saying. I know, but this isn't Europe. This isn't the European. No, but it's still, a, it's still not only America. Right, right. It's Even still weird American both ways. Company. I get you. Yep. All right, yeah. so we will be back next uh, Sunday, and no. it'll be Noble Garden. Is anybody doing the bunny rabbits? I think I might do them. Mm. No. I saw uh, a, a, somebody riding the strider, the, uh, mm. the, the ugly bird. Mm, right, right. It costs five hundred eggs. The chocobo like, no. or something like. That. I like. Yeah, I'm not riding that. I've got it, but I'm not riding it. The purple. Yeah, no, no, thank you. Purple atrocity. You, yes. And you bounce no, up pink, and down on it. Yeah. yeah. The love chicken. The love yeah. chicken. No, that no, it's chocolate chicken. Love chicken <laughs> is something different. That's something different, right? Right. It's the same model, but. Oh, Jeffy. Jeffy said it was the love chicken. No, the love chicken is from. Well, that's love is in the, the no, air. no, that's a different. Right, there is a love chicken, or maybe there you saw love the chicken. love chicken. Oh, love is not, in the air, and maybe not the. Oh man, I died again. They're, they're the same birds, just different right. holidays. Right, oh my exactly. God. That's so horrible. The, that makes yeah. sense. Mm. I couldn't come up with a unique bird for for horribly overpriced. Mm. Well, yeah. yeah. So Noble Garden on Monday, the 5th, going all the way to the 12th. So it's a whole week. Wow. And, yeah. yeah. And then then Dark Moon Fair. So you can go get your wee buff and then go gather eggs. And and there's, there's also a dungeon. Is there a dungeon for Noble Garden? Nope. No, no dungeon. Okay. Even if there's a toy, I don't think I'm doing it. Mm -hmm. All no, right. Well, that sound is my dog who wants to go out. Thanks, guys. Thanks, chat room. So before we go, okay, <laughs> we have to remedy this. We have to like uh, uh, you said at the beginning of the show that you had your birthday. My birthday is Wednesday. It's one of it's the things, upcoming Wednesday. Right. It's one of the things that was on the count that should be on the calendar for the week. My birthday is Wednesday. Yeah, okay, okay. The day so I didn't, April is I didn't miss here. No. Yeah. Good, okay. <laughs> but by the time we come back again, my birthday will be gone, which is why I was mentioning yes. it today. So That's okay. I'll be leveling 50. Just wanted to make sure that I didn't 
I wouldn't, <laughs> wouldn't be able to, to, to feel good about myself if I hadn't at least... Well, you could say uh, happy, birthday. happy birthday. Oh, okay. I don't... It, it, <laughs> it, people, you might do it, but, but, but in Germany, it's bad luck to wish, you, wish, wish people happy birthday before the birthday. Oh, and here we celebrate... Some people celebrate the whole week. With people yeah. being birthday, yeah. so it's okay to say happy belated birthday. Yeah, exactly. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, but not not okay. not ahead of time. All right, all right. I'll wait for my <laughs> birthday accolade. I'll all come right. and find you if you want to <laughs> Oh, we'll talk about it next week. Why do uh, this is the one doesn't pre- the but, one doesn't exclude the other. Right. All right. Well. This is April. This is Aprilian for the Horde. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Constructs for those four pets in the Dead Mine Dungeon. No, this is Pink Negus, Rule of Acquisition number 19. Satisfaction is not guaranteed. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye. 334 pets to go. Oh, wow. that's a lot. Thanks, chat room. Thanks, chat room. Another challenge. And, uh, and oh, room. oh, wait! Shout out to to Kyle wherever you are. Hope everything's going well. And I see that uh, Jeppy has been crawling out of the duvet cave. Maybe, maybe oh. he can get enough energy to join us. That would be a great birthday present for next week, Jeppy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Right. Yes. Yeah. Right. Bye, guys. <laughs>